Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Letitia James just got blindsided in a big way. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So one legal expert is weighing in on the case Letitia James has brought against former President Donald Trump. Now, as you'll recall, the bond in the case to appeal got got lowered from around $450 million to $175 million. Still a hefty sum of money to do an appeal. And if Trump loses the appeal, he loses that money. It's a lot of money to play with, but the appeal is in the works. Now, what this legal expert is saying is Letitia James, and the legal expert, by the way, is Leo Terrell. What he's basically saying to Mark Levin here is that not only should there should be a recusal in this case, but Letitia James, she should be put up on charges. They're accusing her of collusion, collusion with the White House, collusion with the Department of Justice, collusion with Jack Smith. It looks like, to a lot of people, there's a big web here of a get Trump scheme. And the scheme extends far beyond these individual prosecutors in individual states. Of course, we can't confirm that. We have no evidence of that. But we're just reporting what we're hearing. So... You know, it's important that we note that if there's no evidence of it, we can't say that this is for a fact what's going on. That's why we have our opinions. My opinion is there does appear to be some form of colluding going on here. But I want your opinions. I want you to watch this video, listen to every word, and then tell me what you think when you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. He's trying to get to the bottom of it? Absolutely. Here's the problem. You know, Mark, you and I, we've been lawyers for a long time. We know it's not being analyzed. These cases are not being analyzed legally. We know that it's been weaponized by the political process. We know what the Democrats are going. They're going after Trump for one reason. You know it and I know it, and the nation knows it. They know they do not want him on the ballot. So they don't follow the rules of law. They don't follow the rules of justice. What makes this country great is our legal system, and it's under attack. The Democrats will not follow the law because of the obsession to get Trump off the ballot. If Trump was not on the ballot, he doesn't face these charges. But I'm telling you, he said it over and over again. You said it on your program. The legal system has been weaponized against Donald J. Trump. No other president has gone through this ordeal. And they find him as a threat because he is scheduled to win this election in November. So all, all bets are off. They want to take him off the ballot, and they'll do anything they can. Let's look at this uh this attempt to bankrupt him under the phony law, applied in a phony way with a phony judge and a phony prosecutor. I don't know. When I was growing up, I was a young uh, attorney, Leo Terrell. If you were running for office to be the attorney general of a state and you campaigned and you said, I'm going to target Donald Trump, I'm going to get Donald Trump, and you said all those things, that matter would have been brought to the bar. Uh, it would have been brought to the bar. The bar would have brought it up itself. And they would have condemned it, and they would have sanctioned that attorney. You're not allowed to even run for office, not unless a prosecutorial office, and to make claims like that under any rules of ethical conduct in any state that I'm aware of. Yet so corrupt is the bar filled with Democrats that they haven't said or done a thing. What about the legal profession now? What do you make of that? Let me be clear. There is no legal profession in New York. Because what you just articulated, I want to be clear as possible. Letitia James is a racist. Letitia James has targeted Trump. I submit to you the following evidence. Videotape of her claiming that if she gets into office, she will go after Trump. Not the crime, but after Trump. And then she's colluded with a, 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 a left-wing progressive judge who doesn't know anything about accounting, doesn't know anything about real estate. And again, they are trying to not prevent Trump from running for office. They're trying to destroy his livelihood. They're trying to take everything that he built up to take away from him, to try to discourage him from running for office. I find the conduct of the New York bar offensive, and it's disgusting. And what should happen is that that case should be appealed, and it will be appealed, and it should be reversed, because that was not justice. It is political warfare. The Democratic Party, my contention is and will continue to be, they'd say totalitarian party. There are different types of